In the first problem, we have to calculate the output of the logic gate shown. The given logic gate is x nor gate. The given logic gate is x nor gate, and we have two input x nor gate, in which first input is a and second input is zero because second input is connected to the ground, and ground is low potential. So we have two inputs. First input is a and second input is zero. And we already know in case of x nor gate, the output f, the output f is equal to a complement and complement of zero because first input is a, second input is zero, or a and zero. A complement and one complement of zero is one or zero. A and zero is zero. So finally we have a complement. So a complement is the answer. And option number D is the correct option. This is very simple problem appeared in Gate 1997 paper. And the only thing you have to take care of is the ground. Ground is equal to zero. Now we will move to problem number two. In second problem, in second problem, this is the given circuit. And first I will read the problem. Then we will solve it. For the logic circuit shown in the figure, the required input combination A B C to make the output X equal to one is. So this is the logic circuit. X is the output. X is the output, and we have three inputs A, B, and C, and we have to find the combination of A, B, and C so that output X is equal to one. Output X is equal to one, or output X is high. So first we will find out output X. Output of this gate is A XOR B because this is XOR gate. Output of this gate is B XOR C. And here we have C. So the three inputs are A X or B, B X nor C, and C given to this AND gate. This is AND gate. So X is simply equal to A X or B and B X nor C and C. And uh, the output must be high. So we can say that A X or B must be one, B X nor C must be one, and C must be one. So we have one thing from this that C is equal to one, and we have to find out values for A and B. We will first analyze A X or B, and if I make the truth table for X or gate zero 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 one one zero one one, these are the four combinations, and the output is A X or B zero one one zero. XOR gate is odd once rejected, so whenever we have odd number of ones in the input bit stream, the output is going to be high. So A X or B is high for these two cases when A is zero and B is one, or when A is one and B is zero. So we have zero one and one zero as the values of A and B from the first condition. Now we will analyze the second condition B X nor C, and for this also I will make the truth table. B and C are the two inputs. Zero 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 one one zero one one B X nor C, and it is equal to one zero zero one. So B X nor C is high for these two cases when B is zero and C is zero, and when B is one and C is one. And we have already calculated the value of C. It is equal to one. So we have to consider the last case in which C is one. So B is one. B is one. B is not equal to zero. So A is not equal to one, and we have one zero one as the answer. A is equal to zero. B is equal to one, and C is equal to one. And you can see option number D is the correct option. A is zero. B is one, and C is one. So this is how you have to solve this problem. There is no need to make the two truth tables. I made them to explain you. In exam, you do not require to make the two truth tables. You can easily solve this problem by using the properties of XOR and XNOR gates. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.